everybody. For the final video in this series, what I want to do is show you how you can use Dremio once you prepare all the data in Dremio, how you can access that data in, in things like Python notebooks and BI dashboards. And again, not all that SQL and preparation has to be done within the Dremio user interface. Dremio has the ability to send SQL to Dremio to do any of the things that you've seen us do <coughs> via REST API, via if you want to build like full-on data applications on top of Dremio, you can use the Dremio JDBC ODBC connector and the Apache Arrow Flight connector, all ways to connect and send SQL to Dremio. So one thing I wanna do before we kind of get into that is we need to enable our, like one of the services that we set up was Superset, but there's an extra step to get Superset all ready to go. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is run the following command uh, right here. Okay, and this is again, this is all within the repo that you've cloned down if you've been following hands on. So then I just run this one command here and that's gonna initialize the superset. And uh, that we can just leave alone for now and we'll head over to take a look at Python. Okay, so also in that repo, there's this example.py file that has some example Python code that you can use. So if you've been following around, following along with the naming conventions I've been using, this script should be pretty much ready to go. The only thing you'll need is to make sure you put in your Dremio username. So I'll do just put in mine and your Dremio password. Okay, which in production, you probably wanna put that in like environmental variables or something like that. But essentially what I'm using is a library called Dremio Simple Query, which makes it well, well simple to query Dremio from your Python. So you see here, all I have to do is pass in some information on where to connect Okay, then I establish the connection and then I can just send over a query and I'm done. And the cool thing is that it has a couple functions, two pandas, two polars, two DuckDB for you to get back the data in the format that you want. So if you like pandas data frames, you can just get back the data directly in a pandas data frame without you having to take the extra steps to convert it, making it uh, a much easier to work with. Okay, but so basi basically this is all it took to get the data. Okay, in this case, I'm pulling that weather data that we curated in the previous video. And then I'm using uh, Seaborn and matplotlib to create a visualization of that data. And it's simple as that. Okay, I can go over here and hit play to run the cell. It will then run the code. We'll give it a moment. Oh, let's see here. I probably made a mistake somewhere. So it says flight return unauthenticated error. So I did some mistake over here with the authentication. Oh, I didn't put the right password. It's password 2024. Okay, so let's run that again. Okay, it's running and see it pulled the data. So you see here, I printed out the data frame so you can see that we did get the data back. Okay, and then you can see here the visualization it created. So again, I can pull that data from all that curated source. And again, that, that could be the weather data, that could be the shipping data that was curated from Postgres and that JSON file. So I can connect all my data sources, curate the data, and pull that in into this Python notebook, which I can use to create, you know, a visual like this in a notebook, uh, to feed a, to train off for an AI ML model. So that way I can just do all my prep work within Dremio. And then in my Python, all I have to do is pull in the da data that's already kind of perfectly ready to go and feed it into the kind of work that needs to be done. Okay, so that's, that's the Python version. Now let's take a look at the um, BI dashboards uh, session first. I wanna just show you that Dremio is very built to make it really easy for you to connect uh, the BI tools. So if I go to any data set and I click on, um, let's say, let's see, actually I wanna to go to the weather data. Okay, let's go to table. Okay, actually, let's go to one of these views weather okay now if I go here when you're taking a look at this sort of full view with like the data details reflections and all this you'll notice that there's these two buttons here now these generally are one click connections to Tableau and Power BI so if you're using Power, Tableau and Power BI it becomes really easy to establish that connection to with any data set and begin just building a DI, BI dashboard within Tableau on that data set in this case, I'm gonna be using Apache Superset, which is a open source BI tool, which is gonna be located on 8088. Okay. And when you first log in, you should have to log in with a password of admin and admin. Let me just see, did the initialization ever finish? Yeah, it did. Okay. 
So, but essentially here, what we need to do is connect our, make our Dremio connection. So for that, we would just click on database connections. And then I would click on add a database. I would choose other as my type of database and just say, hey, I want to, um, I'm gonna name this Dremio. Okay, and then we just need to put in the right URL. To get that URL, there's a pretty easy to use blog here. So you can just kind of copy that URL from the readme in the repo. This is a blog I wrote a bit back on how to use Apache Superset with Dremio. And you can just scroll down to where the, the URL is. So right here. So there's a different URL if you're using Dremio Cloud, our cloud uh, SaaS version of Dremio, or this URL for Dremio software. So I can just copy that over here and I can put in my username, uh, Alex Merced, password, 2024, and that's actually uppercase password, password, 2024. And then we put in the host, which for, if you're using my setup, it's just going to be actually just lowercase Dremio. Okay, so once I take that URL, I can grab that URL, plop it right here into uh, superset, test the connection, make sure that it connects just fine and connection looks good, and I can hit connect. Doop, 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 doop. And then once that's connected, we are off to the races. So if you've never used superset before, essentially the way it works is you connect data sets. From those data sets, you create charts, and then from those charts, you create dashboards, which are just collections of charts. And if you use Tableau or Power BI, this is probably a similar workflow that you are familiar with. But essentially, I can click here to say, hey, I want to add a data set now. And since I have my connection to Dremio, I can choose my Dremio connection. And let's say we want to use that um, weather data that I have in my lake house. Lake house. Then I can choose the weather table. And see, it's detected it just fine. Awesome. So now I can create this, click create data set, create chart. And then I can create, let's say a bar chart. And, you know, I can say, hey, I want to take a look at um, the amount of precipitation. And specifically, I want to take a look at the average participation or average precipitation by station. Okay, so I set that all up and then I can create the chart. And then there we go. Now I have like average per, uh, I have the, the chart that I wanted to make. Okay, awesome. So that's essentially all there is to it. And then after that, I can make more charts, connect different data sets, create the dashboards that I need. But you can see it's pretty easy to curate all my data. So instead of having to make a separate connection to Postgres, a separate connection to Snowflake, a separate connection to all these different data sources, I can connect all those data sources to Dremio, curate my data sets, and that way I only have to be connecting to one thing, whether it's in Python or it's in Superset or any API tool, making just life a lot simpler. And again, a lot simpler for all involved because the, the curation tools over there and the Dremio UI makes life real easy when it comes to preparing your data. So hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this demonstration. If you've been using this environment and you want to shut it down, all you have to do is do docker compose down dash V and that'll shut everything down. Thank you very much. Have a great day and enjoy.